12 visited Cebu City where I am currently at last September 15 until October 1 and I went and get myself some house as well and so before we jump in into what I got and the prices the amazing prices that I was able to pay or the amount I paid for all the things I bought it's crazy but before we jump into this check out the things and let me just show you around the big bad wolf sale last september 15 to october 1 and one of those days i just attended it check this out <music> City and it was in SMC side and you can find it inside the mall and not outside of it and it's just a variety of things that you can find not just books but also other souvenirs that you can find or like even notebooks and books also that is available inside the Big Bad Wolf sale and aside from that they have a variety and a wide range of different different genres that you can choose from check this out And now it's time for us to how the things I got from the sale and of course I um, didn't buy a lot because I still have books that I haven't read yet but I did buy some of the things that I felt like I can indulge myself and just read it and enjoy things um, so I didn't buy a lot of self-help books though I really love self-help books but I have a lot of self-help books that I haven't read yet so I just didn't go through it a lot but I did get some or most of this are fiction so anyways these are the only thing I got from the sale I don't want to overspend because I want to be wise <laughs> with my money for this year because that's kind of like what I want to aim for this year and not overspend and not go beyond or kind of like go my lifestyle wanted I want it to be below my means or something so I could save more money and end 2023 with more savings anyways let's get into the books that I got and we're gonna compare the prices on the retail prices in other bookstores online so I got the first book let's see. yes it's called the rejection to change my life by Jessica Buckle. I don't know if I said it correctly or pronounced it correctly, but she's the author. Um, this is going to be my first book that I would read from this author and I can't wait for it. But yes, this is how the book looks like. <laughs> and let's see. And the way the prices works for the Big Bad Wolf sale is by letters. So it kind of like looked like this. So with the letters comes the prices. So for example, A is 20 pesos and all these things right here. So yeah, so each letter comes with a different price. And for this, okay, I don't know if you can see it correctly, but this is letter I, which means it's 280 pesos. So this book costs 
208 pesos in Big Bad Wolf sale. And I'll look it up online. And the retail price for this book online is 816 pesos. So see the difference? It's such a huge difference and I really did feel like I saved more money. The next book I got is this one. So the title is A Good Girl's Guide to Rakes. It's fiction. And it's also letter I. Yeah. But it's letter I. So I kind of limit myself into getting books below 400 pesos so I could get more and it would still fit my budget for the whole Big Bad Wolf how or like Big Bad Wolf buying spree. And so it's letter I kind of the same as this one. It costs 280 pesos. Did you see that? And the retail price for this online, when I look it up, is 557 pesos, 0.36. Just this one. And yes, cheap again. So I save a bit of like a 200 pesos or 300 more, I think. Yeah. And then the third one is this one. So this is letter letter J, which is 340 pesos, and this is a hard book, hard cover. So, yeah, sorry. Um, it's a hard cover, and it's only 340 peso, 340 pesos in Big Bad Wolf sale. But when I look it up online, this is the cost of it, which is 738.23 pesos. And that's for the hardcover. So I just compared them with a hardcover since this is also a hardcover. And yes, more savings. And the last book I got is this adult book. So I don't want to say the title because it's an adult book and I'm not sure if it is allowed here. I don't want to get banned. But as you can see, this one doesn't have a letter. So it actually have the right exact price which is 280 pesos and that's because this is kind of like called a special books inside Big Bad Wolf so whenever they have a sale they have like some of the special books that you can only buy when you register into this QR code that they have when you go in or even just in their website or in their Facebook pages or Facebook page or maybe other social media pages that when you go they have this registration that you can get discounts and also get the special kind of books just like this one that you can buy so if you're not registered you can't buy special books like this with you would know there's kind of like special like limited edition because of they're going to be having the price and not the letters so this is 280 pesos and it's also hardcover and it has a really nice cover very nice presentation and when I look this up online with a hardcover also the hardcover equivalent of this online price is 434.38 pesos sorry 434.89 pesos and yeah it's still a saving it's not far from it but it still is saving money so it's more of um I'm really happy <laughs> All in all, I'm really, I'm really happy with my haul and I can't wait to read all of these books. And I'm also happy and proud of my self-discipline of not buying more books than I should buy because I know they're going to come back, right? Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> I hope you would come back in the city and I can't wait to buy more books from them because all in all, this book's cost me only 1,180 pesos, so 1,180 pesos, but if I bought them with a retail price online, that would cost me almost 3,000 pesos, excluding the shipping fee. So that's a lot of savings, or at least not more than half of it. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with Big Bad Wolf, so if ever there's going to be a Big Bad Wolf sale from where you are i highly recommend for you to go check out and hopefully you can buy the books that you've been wanting to buy but maybe it's too costly for you or a bit expensive but yeah and indulge yourself 
so of course they just don't sell books as I've said and they have other things like souvenir and trinkets and uh, let me show you what kind of souvenir and trinkets they have right here bad wolf experience I got this year I actually have been have been going into the big bad wolf sale for about three years four years now I'm not sure but every time I hear that they're here and I'm here in the city I always go and buy books from them because they're really kind of like cheap and very affordable and that's my how for this Big Bad Wolf sale this year and hopefully I can also share my next one for next year. Thank you so much for watching this video and let me know if there's other videos or um, sale hauls that you want me to check out. That's it. Bye!